Come on, Bulls, play some D. Hey. Hey, how was practice? Great, we came up with a name for Tina's basketball team. I wanted to call us the Big Balls. Really? Because we play with a big ball. We went with the Raptors. Whatever, I like big balls. Yeah, well, they're no fun when you're horseback riding. You know, I'm really glad I got dragged into coaching Tina's basketball team. It's been great spending a little extra time with her. Yeah, she's growing up so fast. You don't want to look back and feel you missed out. Mm, her first game is on Saturday. Yeah, I'm going to miss that. <laughs> well, you have to go. I just bought the NBA sports package. I'm not wasting my Saturdays watching a bunch of midgets run in circles. <laughs> Made that mistake once for that Lord of the Rings movie. <laughs> to miss the whole NBA season. It's only for six weeks. Aren't your children worth at least that? <laughs> You're going! Tina. I mean, getting better. Hey, you said we were going to see Jordan play. Yeah, there she is, Tina's friend Jordan. No, you specifically said Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah, that was a lie. Hey, check out the other team's coach. Ted Halverson, that pompous jerk. Some people shouldn't have children. Come on, that's a little harsh. No, I meant me, so I wouldn't have to be here looking at Ted Halverson. I'm going across the street to buy a beer. You can't bring a beer in here. You can if it's in my stomach. Yeah. Halverson. Miller. Mrs. Halverson. Miller. Spending a Saturday supporting your kids' activities? What happened? Sulfur burned down? Don't even joke about that. I just happened to be here to watch Tina's team kick your team's butt. Yeah, well, it's not about winning, it's about having fun. Ah, smoking like a loser from Loserville, Louisiana. Major export, losers. Bill, you're not gonna get his kettle to boil. Ted's not as competitive now that he's using the techniques he learned in anger management. It was the only way the league would give me one more shot at coaching. Disagree with a call last year, and I may have overreacted a little bit. Tipped over a few trash cans <laughs> and a minivan. <laughs> And while I did apologize and pay for the damage, my videotape did prove that the ref was wrong about that call. Bitch. Ted, relax, you field of clover, pretty flowers. Reach in your pocket and rub your worry stone. Hey, there are children here. It's a relaxation tool. I agree, but still, there are children here. in the fifth quarter. When is that? That's when you get the court all to yourself. <laughs> Yay! Judy's a great coach. The Raptors are tearing those twinkle fairies a new twinkle. I know. I'm gonna lose a bundle. You bet on the game? Yeah, I got some action going. Number 12's brother, Zach. And I got a tip on the next game. The Red Devil Center forgot to take her Ridland. And third quarter. Hey, Halverson, do I hear a vacuum cleaner or is that just the sound of your team sucking? <laughs> Miller, you could take your attitude and you could shove it. Ted, me. field of clover. Everyone's a winner when they try their best. <laughs> Judy's team is very good. All that time she spent watching sports instead of her children is really paying off. Yes, it is. Well, I guess this means the Raptors have a good shot at the regional playoffs. Ha ha. I sure I'm going to miss those extra six weeks of games. Well, what extra six weeks? Well, that's how long the postseason lasts. Six weeks? Yeah, so much fun. Riding on the bus with the kids, doing the sing-alongs, painting the toenails, the team colors. <laughs> bus, sing-alongs, toenails, six weeks? Okay, Miller, don't rub it in. Daddy, I want to play without my shoes, because unicorns don't wear shoes. What a good choice. <laughs> We've got to make sure the Raptors lose. Yeah, and by at least six points. That's the spread Zach gave me. 
No. <laughs> if the Raptors get to the playoffs, Judy's gonna make me go. Then I can kiss my whole NBA cable package goodbye. <laughs> you want the Raptors to lose? Put Tina in. She's like the clown prince of basketball. Fitz. It's not your place to make fun of my lame-o daughter. That said, great idea. Fourth quarter! When's Tina gonna play? In the car ride home with her Game Boy. Judy, Judy, this game's not just about winning, it's about having fun. Have you seen Tina play? It's not fun. Come on, she's not that bad. Hey, Tina, heads up! Whoa! Oh. Kitty over to meet you. I thought you and Perry weren't leaving for Hawaii until next month. Yeah, well, if you're gonna kitty sit Lulu, I want her to get a chance to know you because she's very attached to her mommy, isn't she? <laughs> okay, honey, I'm gonna let you out so you can meet your cousin Lori. Cousin? Just go with it. She's very sensitive about being adopted. She also sensitive about that hobo costume you made her wear for Halloween. Shh! She picked that out herself. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's having a crabby wabby day. <laughs> Come here, Rick. <Rachel. laughs> mm. mm. oh, honey, if she's not gonna come out for me, she's certainly not gonna come out. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, she's so sweet. Well, she's obviously disoriented. <gasps> Mommy's right here. <laughs> We'll catch you later. Just got off the phone with the league rep. The Cougars lost, which means the Raptors are three wins away from going to the playoffs. Oh, you gotta be so proud. I heard Ted Halverson lost another player. There was a kitty bake oven accident. She'll be okay. She'll never have fingerprints again. What's he gonna do? Well, it's gonna have to drop out of the league. You have to have seven girls. It's probably for the best. They were never gonna make the playoffs. Never make the playoffs, huh? <sighs> Poor Halverson. You know, you know what'd be a nice thing to do? Give him one of your players. Are you serious? Well, you can spare one, and then the Twinkle Fairies could at least play out the season. Hey, here's a thought. Give him Tina. What? I'm not trading my own daughter. But she barely put her in the game. That's because she sucks. That's why you should give her to Halverson. She'll probably get to play more and you won't feel bad for benching her all the time. I guess. And don't worry, I'll go to all the rest of Tina's games, however many are left, three, right? And uh, <laughs> you can just focus on coaching your team. Well, you know, the decision should really be up to her. Tina! <laughs> I accidentally ate a box of cookies. Uh, honey, the Twinkle Fairies are short a couple of players, and I was wondering if you'd consider joining them so they could finish out the season. It'd be a really nice thing to do. So, I'd have to leave Mommy's team? Oh, not if you don't want to, baby. I understand if you'd be uncomfortable being away from Mommy. They get cupcakes after games. I'm in. <laughs> Non-competitive way. Oh, Ted Tina's really improved since you made her point guard. Yeah. How the hell that happened? Well, Judy just had her playing out of position. I found her strength and I gave her motivation. I told her if she didn't deliver, I'd let the evil clown out of the sewer. He, he, he's just kidding, right, Ted? You bet. Oh, nice rebound, Tina! Wow, if we play Tina more, we might have a shot at the playoffs. What? No, no, you can't do that. Why not? Because it's not fair. Let some of the other players have a chance, uh, like the one with asthma or unicorn girl here. I'm not a unicorn. Today I'm a butterfly. The Phoebes stay on the bench. I'm the coach. When you're the coach, you can make the calls. Hey, Fitz. Oh, hey, Judy. Do you know who won the last game? Snowbells. By how much? Oh, uh, I don't know. Come on, think! Uh, 
eight points. Damn. I'm gonna have to go away for a while. <laughs> Tell my family that I love them. Foul on purple number seven. What? Are you crazy? Um, sir, I politely disagree with that call. She pushed the other play. What? Ted? I guess. I guess that call was totally bogus. Don't wuss out now, Halverson. Take the call back, ref. Sir, step back. Make him. Yeah, make me. Are you threatening me? He's not threatening you. Clover, Ted, Clover. Yes, you are. What do you say about your mama? <laughs> okay, that's it. You and me out in the parking lot right now. I hope you brought a poncho, because I'm going to rain down the hurt, my friend. Get this jerk off my court. It's not your court. It belongs to the children, the innocent children. You better not start your car tonight. <laughs> Pretty flowers. All is peaceful. I, I, get out of my way, lady! Okay, I'm the coach now. Tina, you're out. Butterfly girl, you're in. But I'm still in my cocoon. Even better. <laughs> so alone. It's like my heart has been ripped from my chest. So just another day, huh? <laughs> Lulu ran away. I have no idea where she is. My, my allergies are going crazy. Is there a cat in here? No. We don't have a cat. My, my skin is on fire. If, if there's not a cat, then that weird exchange student really did put a curse on me. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my God! You stole Lulu! No, I didn't. Then who's that saucer of milk for? <sighs> me. <laughs> Listen, I didn't want you to feel bad, but last night she showed up at my bedroom window crying for me to let her in. Oh, oh, really? Okay, you expect me to believe that she jumped out of my bedroom window and made her way across town in the freezing rain just to get away from me? Well, you did have a boyfriend who did that. Go scratch yourself. Hey, how was your game? We won. Too bad you didn't stick around to watch it. Yeah, Tina's team got slaughtered and... I was kind of depressed. Drop it, Bill. I saw you provoking Ted so you could be coach and bench Tina. You're trying to lose so you could watch your stupid NBA package, aren't you? Well, you have all the answers, don't you? All the answers. Are you saying I'm wrong? No. Unbelievable. You'd rather undermine your daughter's self-confidence and crush the spirit of the team. At halftime, they show NBA bloopers. It's called Hoop Swoops. <laughs> You should be ashamed of yourself. From now on, you are coaching Tina's team to win. And if I sense anything less than that, I'm signing her back up for tap dance. Oh, God, no. I won't go back to those recitals. I won't. You will. <laughs> and this year, they're bringing in the noise and the funk. <laughs> See you at the game. Man, this stinks. First my cat, now my husband. Your husband peed on your carpet? Um, what? He doesn't want to spend any time with me. Perry just called. He can't go to Hawaii. He's got to work. Now I've got an extra ticket and no one to go with. Wait a minute. Did I just hear the words Hawaii? Extra? Ticket? <laughs> no one? To go with? <laughs> yes, those were all the words you heard. <laughs> Take on the beach, drink Mai Tais, order room service. It'll be the perfect honeymoon. No husbands. <laughs> well, the tickets are non-refundable. Okay, why not? Oh, I can't wait! Oh, we leave on the seventh. I can't go! It's right in the middle of Pee Wee playoffs. Oh, well, maybe you won't make the playoffs. No, they're really good. I told them how to be winners. Man, that's too bad, because I have like an ocean view suite and a full spa package. <sighs> okay, Raptors, before we play this game, remember one thing. Winning isn't everything. But if we don't win this game, we won't go to the playoffs. Who wants pizza? Okay, Twinkle Fairies, make me proud. Get out there and win! Yeah! yeah!
Your team's looking good, coach. Ah, thanks. We've been playing pretty halverson. You know, the rec department has a restraining order on you. Yeah, but not on Mr. Jenkins, the grumpy old janitor. Don't worry, I'm not here to make trouble, but don't screw it up. Hey, lady, can I just mop over there? <laughs> Game time! Go! Team score. Time out, time out. What's going on? Nothing. You cheered when we scored, and you girls are eating pizza during a game. A light snack. Double cheese pepperoni? The elephant tranquilizer of the pizza world? You want to lose. No, how could you? I'm going to Hawaii with Linda. So, you made me be a good coach, and now you're throwing the game. That's a very good point. And I'm going to think about it while I'm sunbathing in Hawaii. Well, if you don't have to go to the playoffs, neither do I. If anyone knows how to be a big loser, it's me. Oh, oh bring it on. Because I got a secret weapon. My point guard's dog just died. Or at least that's what I'm going to tell her. and mother to my gym. <laughs> Tina, you're on the bench. But I was just about to score. Well, give someone else a chance. Hannah, you're in. Oh, wait, wait, give me those. But I can't see. Go, 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 go. <laughs> OK, Trudy, you're in. Oh, by the way, everyone on the team's invited to a party at Madison's house after the game except you. Go. <laughs> Emily, be a butterfly. Be a butterfly. Ah. Miller! Miller! You call that coaching? You've ruined my team. You don't deserve to be a twinkle fairy. Hey, let go of me. Let go of me. This is uncivilized. Don't you start your car night, Miller. Hey. Foul, Raptors. No time left on the clock. Number 10 gets a free throw. No! You do realize she's on your team. You can do it, Tina. Mommy believes in you. Are you folks confused about the colors of the uniforms? Coach Judy, you didn't make the playoffs. What are you going to do now? I'm going to Hawaii. Tina, 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 Tina. Are you proud of me, Daddy? Yes, honey, I am. I really am. That was a great shot. And you know what? For the next six weeks, I'm going to be the best coach you've ever seen. Hang on. Six more weeks? Miss more birthday parties? Uh-uh, I quit. You quit the quitter? Is that how I raised you? Yes. You were listening. That's my girl. Tina! 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 Emily, remember, you don't have to lose. Just don't win by more than five points. <laughs> Wearing a wire? You little snitch. 